Hmm. Sounds like two good guys with a gun did some good shit. New at 6 o'clock, a man was arrested after deputies say he broke into a home in Saginaw County while intoxicated last week. Police say it happened around 730 Friday morning in St. Charles. They say the 32 year old man got into a home where a woman and her two kids were staying. Minutes later, officers say witnesses carrying a, witnesses carrying concealed pistols went into the home and held the suspect until deputies arrived. Investigators believe the suspect was under the influence of drugs when he broke in. He's charged with first degree home invasion and malicious destruction of property. One of the things that gun owners, especially those that can still carry, don't get enough credit for is the fact that their gun is not just a tool to protect them and the people they love, but it's also a tool to protect the people who can't protect themselves as this case shows here. But no, the other side will never talk about these types of stories. Oh, they'll scream from the mountaintops about how guns are dangerous because they're used against women. But when two complete strangers show up and protect a woman and her two children, crickets. The crazy thing is all of the left-leaning states are doing everything in their power right now to make it as hard as possible to get a concealed carry license. The Rambo stuff makes me crazy. I can't believe you guys all buy into that myth. A good guy with a gun is going to defeat a bad guy with a gun. And if you do, they make it almost impossible to be able to carry your gun anywhere. And their justification for this is because they feel that people with concealed carry permits would just start shooting people and they're irresponsible. When the data proves completely otherwise. And then we have examples like this case here, which blow that out of the water as well. We have two people with concealed carry licenses who not only use their gun to protect someone else, they did it without shooting anyone. Funny thing is, the anti-gun lobby won't count this as a defensive gun use. Now, think about how many times stuff like this happens, but doesn't get reported. Think about all the times a citizen pulls a gun on a criminal to thwart an attack, and the criminal runs away, and the citizen doesn't bother calling the cops. That's why the idea that only 60 or 70,000 people each year use a gun to defend themselves is BS. The number has to be much higher which is why the range is somewhere between 60,000 to 3 million people every year use a gun in self-defense. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if after this, this woman goes out and buys a gun for protection because if those two witnesses weren't there, who knows what would have happened? While all of these female focused anti-gun groups are out there bashing women over the head with the idea that women are just victims and can't defend themselves, they should be the main ones empowering women to get their concealed carry license because in the event there aren't any witnesses to come help, if a woman is ever attacked, her gun will give her the means and the ability to protect herself. But they don't want that because they can't control you if they can't sell you fear. The gun doesn't remove the fear, it helps you mitigate it because you know you now have the means and the ability to do something to give yourself a fighting chance if you ever are attacked. And that is why the Second Amendment is so important. It is not a guarantee, it's not an absolute from the standpoint that you're absolutely gonna survive if something happens, it's about giving you a fighting chance. And that's something everyone deserves. And this idea that making you defenseless somehow makes you safer, is just ridiculous. Oh, I know you see this hat, this awesome I am the militia hat, which is representative of the ability to protect yourself because you only have you to depend on when it comes to your safety because there were no cops when this went down. There were two regular citizens with guns who showed up and helped this woman. I just wanna let you guys know that we have extended the Cyber Monday sale on shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. So right now and still, you can get 20% off everything at the store. That's 22A hats, 2A shirts, 2A water bottles, the hearing protection, patches, stickers, you name it, 20% off. And if you spend $200, you'll get a $50 gift card towards your next purchase. But if you want an even bigger benefit, you might wanna go ahead and um, join the email list that I have because I do give out exclusive deals on top of the sales that are already going on if you are part of my email list or my text list. So join the email list so you can get an additional benefit from the store. I'm not gonna tell you here because it's only available for the people who are on my text and email list. So now you have an incentive to join the list. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment 
When it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.